I'm gonna sleep for another hour, you say? This whole week I was staying late at work and working extra because we're up to what will be a 50 mile stretch for us um, from Sheep Gulch to the Hancock Trailhead. And Gut Hooks has a lot long, you can open an Apple Maps or Google Maps and it'll direct you on how to get there. And we did that and it led us to a dead end. Um, it wanted us to go up a dirt road that you can't have motor vehicles on. And so we wasted about two hours going up that road, coming back down that road, trying to find cell reception so we could get our maps to work, comparing it with the book. And we finally were able to route ourselves to Hancock Lake. And by the time like we even got to Sheep Gulch, the sun was completely set. We were all frustrated because we wanted to sleep at Lake Ann Pass. We didn't get here until midnight, but we got here. Sport, you're cheating. You can't cut the switchbacks. What are you doing? We're doing a uh, uphill right now. It's a pretty short one, but it's just started to hail. Um, so it's kind of cold and wet. some new moose facts on the drive here. Kent, why don't you tell us about the moose in Maine? Um, what was it? Oh yeah. The number one cause of death in Maine is from moose. It's from people trying to take pictures with them and hitting them with their cars. There you go, moose. Most dangerous thing in Maine. drink. Oh, thank you. 
Say what you just said to me one more time. Yeah, you see the moose back there, the mama and baby? We are just hanging out in the trees probably like a mile and a half back. Did Almost you put him up to this? Almost walked like right past him, like yeah. for real. <laughs> He's like, oh, moose. And I'm like, oh, yep, that's a moose. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah. joking. No, I'm not. They're just like I'm gonna fucking kill uh, myself. Probably from like us to like the big dead tree over there. Yeah. The little candlestick thing. There were two moose. There was a mom and there was a baby. And we walked right past them and I didn't see them. Do you think that's what Spork was barking at? There's the cow and there's the baby. They just stare at you. Oh god, there's the big ones. You see, Chad. They're all Chad's. Nice pork from home. Come on. Nice pork. Come on, we're home. Let's go. What do you think? Alright, the cage is over here. We're on, uh, we're on the biggest climb, I think, of the day, well at least, I don't know about the segment, but the biggest climb of the day for us. Um, since we got most of the lake and climb out of the way yesterday and we just stopped to sit down and we've been flipping back and forth with these guys all day and they told us to come check out this view so we're gonna have a look so it looks like that might be lake and pass we came down that and then I guess around this mountain. And up here maybe? I'm not really sure. But Gut Hooks points that way um, to Lake Ann Pass. So I think it's right in between those that we came down. We're pretty sure that right up there where you can see the trail is Cottonwood Pass, which will be the end of segment two of the Collegiate West route. It looks like that would be it. So here's Cottonwood Pass Road. Uh, it's closed for 2018 for repaving, so you can't access the trail from here this year. But this is the end of segment two and the start of segment three of the Collegiate West route. We've got a uh, storm that formed out of nowhere moving pretty quickly in. So we're trying to make our way downhill now.